If you use the internet, then you've most likely heard about Notion. Within the past few years, so many more people have been talking about Notion because it's such a great tool for pretty much anyone to use. Whether you use it for budget tracking or just day-to-day -day planning or anything in between, it's a great multi-purpose software that pretty much anyone can use. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through how you can actually design Notion templates and how you can sell them. I'll also be covering some keywords in the Notion niche that will help you guys determine which templates are the most profitable profitable and which ones you should spend the time designing. Now, if you've never used Notion before, it can be a little overwhelming when you first start designing in it because when you get onto Notion, it's basically just a blank page. And that is the good thing and the bad thing about it. Now, if you come up to the top and you select new, you will see that they do have templates that you can start with. So if you have no idea what you're doing, then this might be a good option, but I will run you guys through how to actually design something from scratch because I find that using the template sometimes can be a little overwhelming, it kind of adds more stress into the equation. So first things first, you're going to start with a page like this. Now I'm gonna do like a weekly planner um, to start with and then we will go from there. So. I'm gonna go ahead and title this page. I'm gonna do weekly planner at the top. And then I'm also gonna go up to the three dots in the corner and I'm gonna go ahead and do full width. And then also in this top corner, you will see things like your style. So you can change like your font type. Um, you can do the small text and then there's a few other options which we will get into later. And then I'm gonna add a cover up here. This is optional, but Notion's really nice because you kind of can add your own like personalization to it. So um, you can upload your own images. They also have some pre-picked images on here as well. So if you want to upload your own, you can, you can just go right there. And then they also have Unsplash. So I'm going to do something like plants and I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Okay. So with a weekly planner, most of the key things that you'll want to consider with this is usually like a daily spread, calendar, to-do list, different tasks and things. So when you go over here, you will see the plus sign and then you'll see these six dots and then you can click the plus and then you can also search through different blocks. I personally just do the forward slash and then type it in. So for this weekly planner, I'm going to do Monday through Sunday with some to do tasks underneath each day. So I'm going to go ahead and do forward slash. Now, if you don't do the forward slash, you can also hit the plus button and that will do the same thing. The forward slash is just quicker. I'm going to go ahead and do column and then you'll see that they have two column, three column, four and five. I'm going to go ahead and do the five. And then I'm also going to do another forward slash and go to heading and I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and then type in Monday. Now you'll see that over here, once you highlight over, you'll also see the other option to type in in the second column. So again, you can just do header and then Tuesday. And then you basically just do that all the way across until you get to the last spot. Now, when you are done with that, I'm gonna leave the last section blank just because I'm gonna add a photo in there, but um, you're going to select the six dots and then you're gonna go down to color. Now this is optional, but I find that it just makes it look a little bit nicer. And you'll see that you can change the um, text color and then you can also change the background color. So if you wanna do green and then say that, I'm just gonna do green all the way across, but you can basically experiment with this to do any colors that you feel like would fit with your theme. And then you're gonna do the same thing again where you're gonna add the columns in. So however many columns you did, you're going to add that. So I'm gonna do five again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the to-do list. And then you can see I did forward slash and then type in to-do and it will prompt that. And I'll just go ahead and put to-do list here, but obviously whoever is using this template will fill it out with whatever things that they have to do for the day. Now on the side, I'm just gonna add a photo just for the aesthetics. Um, you can do anything that you want over here or you can just leave it completely taking up the entire width of the screen, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a photo real quick. So again, you can either do the plus or you can hit forward and then forward slash and then type an image. Okay, so this looks pretty good so far. We have a Monday through Sunday with their to-do list underneath. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a habit tracker because I find that these types of templates that include a habit tracker are 
really popular, especially on Etsy and Gumroad. Those are really the top sellers that I personally see. So um, there's a few ways to do this, but I'm just gonna run you guys through the way that I personally do this. Um, I won't really get that far into it. There's tons of other videos that are really more in depth with different formulas and codes and stuff like that, but I'm gonna just keep this as beginner friendly as possible. That way everyone can do this. You're gonna do forward slash and then table view. And then you can type this as, you know, habit tracker, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna hit new database and I'm gonna go ahead and resize this. So what you're gonna go in and do is add the different habits that you would like to track. So this can be really anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and list a couple of random ones. And then you're gonna go ahead and open that up and you're going to do the checkbox and go ahead and label Monday through Sunday. And you'll see once you have all of your habits and Monday through Sunday or whichever days you choose to do, it will look something like this. And you're basically going to hover over and just drag everything so you don't actually see the name of the date, you'll just see that it's the checkboxes for the entire week. And I personally like to hide the name of the table. So you just click the three dots and then you'll hide the database table. And you can go in and add different icons for each type of habit. This just makes it look a little bit better in my opinion, but again, it's personal preference. You don't have to do this. So just go in and you can add your icon up here. Um, they do have emojis. They also have icons that you can choose from, or you can upload your own custom ones if you want to do that as well. And now when you go through and complete each of your habits, you can just go ahead and check those all off. And then you can see your progress throughout the week. Now you can have as many habits on here as you'd like, or you can keep it simple. It's totally pre personal preference. So, now that we have our weekly spread with our to-do list and our habit tracker, let's maybe add a couple notes sections and the calendar. Now, if you wanna resize things in Notion, all you have to do is find the little gray line that comes up when you hover over and you can just drag that over and that will help resize everything to either make it smaller or stretch it out. I'm gonna go ahead and add another column. I'm gonna do two columns and then I'm gonna do forward slash again and then calendar. And this is going to open up another data source. Over on this side, I'm just gonna add a little note section where people can just jot down any sort of notes that they have or things that maybe they just wanna remember throughout the day. So um, I'm just gonna do another heading. I'm gonna do heading three, label this notes change the color again to match the ones up at the top. And then down here, I'm just gonna fill this with random text. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a table where people can track their progress throughout the week as far as different projects go. So whether they're a student or a small business owner or anything of the sort, then this would be appropriate for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do forward slash, I'm gonna do a table and I'm gonna do a table view. And then I'm gonna just label this projects and then new database. And then I'm gonna go ahead and delete or just hide the name. And I'm just gonna go in and add different tasks that someone might have throughout the week. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete the tag section right here. And then I'm gonna hit the plus and then I'm gonna go in and add a status bar and you can edit how these show up. So if you don't want these to be this color, then you're gonna hit edit property and then you can change the color of these to be whatever you want them to be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in a date for when those are due. And in this last section, I'm just gonna add text as far as maybe some important notes that someone needs to write down for the project or anything that's relevant to the project that they need to put over here. All right, and that is pretty much how you would design a weekly planner in the most simple way in Notion. 
So you'll see over here, we have everything as far as to-do lists, things that they need to do throughout each day. They have their daily habits. They have top priorities. They have a note section. They have the calendar. They have a grocery list. And then they have all of their tasks that they need to get done throughout the week right here. So the first platform is of course Etsy. We love Etsy mostly because of the reason that you don't have to really like fight for your traffic if you are optimizing your SEO and your keywords in the best way possible. We can do a completely different video in the future going over different SEO hacks and tips and tricks for Etsy that will help you guys rank and make more sales. But again, that's another conversation. Now, a lot of people don't like Etsy for a multitude of reasons, but we personally really like it. We've had a lot of success with our different Etsy shops over the years, but we also do sell on Squarespace and Shopify. So those are two other options. If you have traffic already, like say you already have an Instagram and a TikTok and a YouTube channel, and you already have that traffic that you can direct to your site, those are great options as well. And a few other people like to use Gumroad. I don't have experience using Gumroad, but a lot of people swear by it. So those are just a few different options as to where you can sell your Notion templates. This is something that I didn't know how to do when I first started selling Notion templates. And back in the day, it was kind of hard to find the information on how to do it. So what you're gonna wanna do once you are finished with your Notion template is you're gonna go up to the three dots in the corner and you're gonna go ahead and duplicate this first and foremost, just to make sure that you have a master file, just in case anything happens, but just make sure that you duplicate that. Then you're gonna to go to the share and you're gonna select the share to web and then show the other options. And you just need to have the duplicate as template option turned on. You do not wanna have any of the other ones turned on. Uh, you don't want people editing the template and you don't really want them leaving comments or anything like that. So once you copy over this link, you're gonna go into something like Canva or just anywhere where you can make a PDF. And you're gonna create a PDF that looks like this. It can give them all of the instructions on how to use the template, how to import it, all of that fun stuff. Um, and then you can create a little button up here. And then you're just gonna double click that, hit the link, and then you're gonna paste in the link that we just copied over from Notion. And then you're gonna make sure that you download this as a PDF. And the PDF is what you're going to upload into your shop. And then once they click on this, it's going to open up Notion and that is how they're going to basically add this into their workspace. So they're just gonna hit duplicate and then that is going to duplicate it into their Notion. And then you'll see right here that I have the Notion template imported into my own Notion account. what keywords you should be focusing on, which templates you should be focusing on to sell. I'm gonna go over a few different options, but first thing I'm gonna start with is Etsy. I'm gonna go on to just Etsy as is, and I'm gonna type in Notion, and this is gonna show you what people are searching for. So people are searching for Notion business templates, Notion budget templates, Notion work templates, Notion content creator, ADHD, student, cute, freelance, life planner, all of that stuff, right? So this is a good way to find different keywords for free, just using Etsy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just look at some of the top selling Notion templates. So you'll see that some of the top selling ones um, are usually just like the life planner ones, um, that girl templates, ADHD planners, business planners, uh, course creator. So going on here will give you guys a really good idea of what type of templates people are selling and what type of templates people are purchasing. Another great website that I like to use is eRank. Now this is only specific to Etsy. So if you're not using Etsy, then skip forward a little bit, but this is great to find different keywords for Etsy and kind of see the competition throughout different digital products or just other products that you want to start selling. So you'll see that the average searches per month are right here. And then when you scroll down, you'll see all of the data for all of the keywords right here. So you'll see that Notion templates get on average about 3000 searches per month, and then they have low competition on Etsy. So if you never used E-Rank before, um, basically what you're looking for is everything to be green. Um, if it's, 
yellow or red, usually you wouldn't want to focus on it because it would have high competition and the chance of you ranking for that product might be a little bit more difficult. Um, so you'll see right here that people are searching for Notion dashboard, which is kind of similar to what we were creating earlier, basically just a dashboard of where people can overview everything that they need to do. Um, they may have different links to different pages throughout their Notion template, but it's kind of the same, same idea. Um, you'll see that Notion planner, that gets a decent amount of searches per month and low competition. And then Notion template business, same thing, decent amount of searches, low competition. Another website that we really love using is Ubersuggest. And you will see things like Notion project management template, Notion templates for students, Notion dashboard templates, Notion recipe templates. The list goes on and on. And you'll also see the volume of searches right here. And you can also sort these. So obviously a lot of people are searching for free templates, but aesthetic templates, that's a good keyword to put in your listing is Notion, like aesthetic Notion template. Um, a lot of people are also searching for student planners for Notion and budget templates as well. Something that we like to keep in mind is for the volume, even if you're getting 1% of those sales, I mean, you would still be getting 13 orders per month if you were only getting 1% of the searches for say the budget template. So using a website like this will give you insight to a lot of different keywords that you can help when you are creating your listings and also just different templates that you can make. So you can do things like the calendar templates, budget templates, journals, all of that stuff. So definitely utilize this tool in order to figure out what templates are going to be the best selling ones. If you guys are not really feeling like designing it from scratch or you want to start your own shop and you really don't know where to begin, we have a whole shop that we will link down below where we sell PLR products and PLR stands for private label rights. So basically when you buy these products, you have the ability to sell them as your own. We do have Notion templates on there and we are constantly adding new products as we go. So if you want Notion templates and you don't wanna design them from scratch, go check out the link below and then you guys can take those and basically swap out photos, change colors and create a whole new design for your shop. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope that was helpful teaching you guys how to get started on Notion and how to actually sell the templates and find keywords that people are searching for as far as those templates go. If the video was helpful, make sure that you like it and leave a comment below. We love hearing from you guys. And if you guys have any other video suggestions, please let us know.